Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, uh, my next few videos are going to be uh, a little bit less physically exciting. I, uh, I just got out of the hospital a few days ago uh, with pneumonia and I've been given strict instructions not to overdo it in any way, shape or form. And for me that's really hard because I, I love to be out here and I love to be working. And uh, so anyway, this next video, uh, part of it was filmed last fall and a part of it was filmed yesterday. I, uh, I wanted to demonstrate how much frost, frozen ground, how much frost in the ground we get here in Canada. Um, my water line, the shutoff for the property is just about a foot and a half on the outside of the garage, on the apron, and it goes under the garage, eight feet in the ground, to the house. And I just, uh, this video just goes to show you how much, uh, how much frost we get in the ground. Uh, even just a foot and a half away from the garage, the, uh, the ground pops up in the winter. And, uh, that's what, basically what this video is about. I uh, had to do a small repair to the concrete after the city did their thing. And that, you'll see that in the video. And uh, another thing that, just for those of you who don't live in the northern climes, absolutely everything we build here where their ground freezes in the winter, you have to take into account. So the sewer and the water are down eight feet. You have to take into account if you're building a deck that the posts go below frost or if you're doing something like a sidewalk or a patio, concrete patio, you have to make sure that it's below the external opening doors by at least two inches so that when you open the door in the wintertime you don't hit the ground. And that's, so it's just kind of interesting. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, I did plan, you know, I, when I filmed this last fall, the first part of this video, I didn't, I didn't expect to actually get this finished and it's turned out really well. So uh, hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'm sorry for the next little while that I'm not going to be uh, crawling under engines and jacking stuff up and beating on stuff until I'm actually uh, have the energy to do so. So thanks for watching, tubes, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. All right, tubes. This is the um, turnoff supply wa uh, for the water on my house, and I'm just. I had this repaired and the city came by and put a new uh, top on it because it had cracked and uh, when the concrete shifts up and down here in Canada we get about a two inch shift in the level of the concrete and I'm not happy with the way this is grabbing around this side so I am going to just see if I can relieve some of that pressure on there I guess I should get some safety glasses on. This is the kind of thing I like to do when I first come out into the garage. I don't like to tear into a project or whatever. I just like to uh, do little things and this has been bugging me for a while. So let's just see if I can take out not only a quarter of an inch of concrete around this edge. I think that's going to do it. I'm going to do one more here. There, now when the frost shifts up and down, it won't touch here. I know, it's a silly thing, but you know, might make a difference in the long run, right? Bet you I could even tamp that back down. Great. Thanks for watching, tubes. Well, there we go guys. That's why I dug that out with the uh, hair chisel last fall. You can see that, uh, that that shut off is about an inch below the concrete. That's kind of interesting, isn't it?
FYI.